Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I welcome you all to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is February 19, Friday after Ash Wednesday. Our Mass for today is also the Thanksgiving offering of Tate Godoy and Nanay Medi Sandoval, Henry and Carrie Dizon and family, and the Mailig family. We bring to God the special intentions of all the members of the PGG service team, Jason Marasigan, Kerstin Marasigan, Jaime and Marina Marasigan, Julie Sabadera, Rosemary Alviar, Lito and Amy Alcaide and family, and Jojo Arellano. We continue to pray for the fast recovery and complete healing of Vivencio Tolentino Sr., Juanita Moreno, Lot Caraan, Rachel Ann Valino Sumpit, Virginia Santos Navarro, Perla Amante, Elmo Carion, Jenny Disipeda, Alice and Joseph Nosco, Andrew San Venaventura, Tess Salgado, Jojo Arellano, Ophelia Maneja, Ryan Licad, and Nancy Fabon. We remember our beloved dead, Teresita, Norma, Nandi, and Helmar, who will be cre cremated today. May they all rest in peace. Dear brothers and sisters, people in the Old Testament ask, what is the use of fasting? God seems not to be near when they fast. The prophet tells them because real fasting consists in justice and love. And since God has made a covenant with his people, that covenant comprises also justice and love from one person to the other. In the Gospel, the disciples of John who fasted were asking the disciples of Jesus why this didn't fast. In other parts of the Gospel, Jesus gives an answer similar to that of the prophet. But now Jesus said that because he has come and is with his disciples, they should rejoice rather than fast. We put ourselves in God's presence as we welcome him in his word and in his body and blood. Our entrance antiphone. The Lord heard and had mercy on me. The Lord became my helper. We are gathered in the name of God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. We ask the Lord for pardon and strength as we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord of the covenant, we have not to fear your judgment if, like you, we become rich in mercy and full of compassion for our neighbor. May we not only know that you ask us, but practice with sincere hearts to share our food with the hungry and to loosen the bonds of injustice, that through us your light may shine 
and your healing spread far and wide. Be with us in your goodness. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, Cry out full-throated and unsparingly, Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness, and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day, and desire to know my ways, like a nation that has done what is just, and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast, and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves, and you take no note of it? Lo, on your fast day you carry out your own pursuits, and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast, so as to make your voice heard on high? Is this the manner of fasting I wish, of keeping a day of penance, that a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. May we all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to, you. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. So, Lent season, a season of um, repentance, and um, 
believing in the gospel and living it out really in our everyday lives. A more focused attention to the Word of God in this uh, 40 days of preparation for the Paschal mystery of the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. And fasting is a very important uh, medium, so to speak, or process or procedure in going through this. God loves us. And God is always with us, Jesus. He is the Emmanuel. He is always with us. And the real joy is when God is with us. The real peace, the real satisfaction in life is when God is with us. Of course, God is always with us, but sometimes that consciousness is not always with us. God will not want to separate from us, and nothing can separate us from the love of God, except when we reject God himself, when we sin, sin is the only thing that separates us from God. And when we are in sin, when we are separated from God, that joy of living is absent. Nagiging hungkab yung buhay kapag ka wala ang Panginoon sa buhay natin because of sin. And, and the fasting is a kind of procedure or method for us to bring back that joy to us by turning away from sin, by turning away and fasting from the urges that bring us to sin, by, by going against our impulses to sin. That is fasting. As we have mentioned yesterday, fasting is usually associated with food, food that is so important, and yet we try to deny ourselves of that for us to feel the hunger. And feeling the hunger, we probably would have more eyes opened to the hunger of other people. Na pag naramdaman natin yung sakit ng gutom, ay maalala natin ang sakit palang magutom. Then yung awa natin sa mga tao na gutom ay muling magigising sa atin. But the brothers and sisters, fasting is, I would say, definitely um, geared towards loving the neighbor. Of course, it's loving God, but loving the neighbor concretely is the manifestation of our love for God. In the first reading, if we go back, the kind of fasting that the Father or Yahweh is asking or expecting from the people is not simply, it's not simply, uh, anong nakasulat dito? Uh, lying in sackcloth and ashes and uh, the bow with the head like a reed. Fasting is not for itself. And as we had last Wednesday, the putting of ash in the, in the, on, the, on the head is not just an external sign. It is an external sign, but it should be accompanied by an internal conversion, an internal uh, intent on doing good and avoiding sin. And again, it is geared toward always loving the neighbor, as was mentioned here. Rather, this is the fasting that I wish. Look at this. Releasing those bound unjustly. And so, fasting is to work for justice. Sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked. In other words, these corporal works of mercy that God is expecting us should be the end station of the fasting that we're doing. And in the process of doing that, we, we become associated once again with God and then the joy comes to us. Yun yung punto. That's why Jesus says, when you are with me, you're filled with joy, you do not fast. No, but sinning separates us from that joy. Eh sino bang hindi nakakasala? Ang tao lang na hindi pwedeng mag-fast, <laughs> yung taong hindi nakakasala at hindi napapalayo sa Panginoon. Pero sino nga bang hindi nakakasala? All of us. That's why we are, we are invited, we are requested to, to fast. Once again, to remember the goodness of God and that of our responsibility to the other. Makakalimot na tayo at nagiging makasarili in the course of the year. Sometimes we're so consumed with ourselves and with our uh, affairs that we have forgotten not really God in that sense, but maybe our love and concern for brothers and sisters. And that is where Jesus is pointing us. That should be the goal and the aim of fasting, our love for the other. But the brothers and sisters, I hope that we're doing this. And these 40 days, as I've said, is set aside by the church for an intense doing of that activities. Fasting together with almsgiving and the prayers. These are the things referring to self-denial so that we will be much closer to Jesus. Less of the world, 
more and more of Jesus. Amen. Sa pamamagitan ng pag-aayuno, binibigyan natin ang Diyos ng puwang sa ating buhay. Hilingin natin sa Panginoon na palakasin tayo sa ating pagpapakasakit upang matatag nating maituon ang ating mga isip at puso sa Kanya. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Bilang mga alagad ni Kristo, tayo naway makasunod sa mga utos ng ating Ama sa Langit. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang bayan ng Diyos naway magtsaga sa kanilang mga pagsasakripisyo ngayong kwaresma. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang ating mga pagtitimpi at pagtitigil sa sarili Alang-alang sa Panginoon, naway matumbasan ng kaligayahan sa piling niya. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang mga may sakit na sa binit ng kamatayan at namibighati sa buhay, naway mapuspos ng biyaya ng Diyos. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Ang namaya pa natin mga kamag-anak at mga kaibigan naway malayang makabahagi sa buhay ng Diyos. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Panginoon, dinggin mo ang aming panalangin. Itaas natin sa Panginoon ang lahat ng mga pamisa ngayong araw na ito, gayon din ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan sa katahimikan ng ating puso. Ama namin nasa langit, ipagkaloob mo sa amin ang lakas upang mailaan namin ang mga sarili na mamuhay ayon sa espiritong nananahan sa amin na siyang lulupig sa aming mga kahinaan upang lubos kaming makabahagi sa muling pagkabuhay ng aming Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May the mingling of this water and wine bring us to the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of joy. Blessed be God forever. Pass away my sins and cleanse me from all my iniquities. Pray, my dear friends, that we and our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. God of mercy and compassion, you have invited us at the table of your Son, that we may learn from Him to share our food and ourselves with everyone in need. Do not allow us ever to forget how good you have been to us and how you let Jesus raise us up from our selfish greed. Let his love grow and shine among us, for he is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Cleanse me of my impurities, O Lord, my God. Let us now proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the child of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Christoph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Helmar, your servant Helmar, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in the resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage and the privilege to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church 
and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer one another Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Redeemer of the world. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to receive Him. Lord, I, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus promises whoever eats His body and drinks His blood receives eternal life. Our prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion at the phone. O oh Lord, make me know your ways. Teach me your paths. Let us pray. Merciful God, we are seeking you and we want to be close to you. Accept our thanks that you let us find you in the lively, challenging word of Jesus and in his presence among us as our food and drink of life and joy. Make us bring him specially to people who suffer and are in need. Let this be the way we ourselves find healing and compassion through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Muli po maraming salamat sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating banal na misa ngayong araw na ito. Maraming salamat kay Brother Henry Dizon. Maraming salamat kay Brother Clemens and wife Sister Annie for the first reading. And Sister Joy Asenio and uh, son, Brother Francis for the prayers of the faithful. Yun lang po. Muli, sabi ko nga, as I have invited you yesterday, the churches are already open, and especially on Sundays, I invite you to, to go to the church. Yeah. 11, 3.30, Kepler Platz, and um, uh, 5.30 in the Florence store. We still have enough place for people, and so come. No? Daily, siguro, via a virtual, but during Sundays, as much as we can, we go to the churches. The Lord be with you. May the good and loving Lord bless you always, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God.